How's it guys? Um, welcome to another video. Um, this one's quite an exciting one. It's something that I recently discovered and I thought it would be quite uh, interesting to most of you guys out there that have uh, to use it for the same purpose that I've had to use it for. It is a vertical line down, the, down your graph which indicates the day that you're currently on in your uh, Excel workbook. Now this can be quite useful for budgeting, forecasting, projections where you'll need to see data before and after uh, the day. Uh, but let's get to that. So over here is my data that I'll be using in the graph. And this is the current day uh, represented by today. That is the Excel formula for today. So whenever you open and close your Excel workbook, you uh, this date will change and it'll be reflected in the graph. It'll shift left or right across the graph. All right, so to create a graph, it's pretty straightforward. We'll just highlight our data, insert chart, and let's insert a line chart. I think this will be able to represent the data much more graphically and easy to understand. So now the addition of a vertical line down the graph is a bit of a workaround, um, but it actually is quite powerful when you get it right. It involves us adding more data to this chart. And how we do that is we click the chart, we say select data, and we're going to add over here the date, which we would actually like to see as our date that moves across this graph. That we are going to use as February the 7th, 2017. Let's just take out this over here, make sure your make sure that is clean. And there we have it. Okay, now don't be uh, stressed about your graph disappearing. It is a, it's a workaround, as I said. What you do is you are going to change the chart type because now we are going to use a scatter plot for this date. I'll explain that now. We go, we right click on the graph and we say change chart type. And we've got a combo graph because we're going to need to use two different axes for axes for this graph. Series two is the one we just added and that is our current date, which I'd like to represent on the graph. And we're gonna make that a scatter plot because there's a dot essentially. Let me just put this over here so you can see. And then our budgeted amount is going to be our lines. Sometimes they default back to um, chart, doesn't matter. The other thing you need to reckon, remember is that the, uh, the date needs to be on a secondary axis. This is because we are going to have our date that moving that is moving over here and our actual data over here. Our data being the budgeted amounts. You click OK and there you have it. Now the other thing we need to understand is that you cannot currently see our moving date um, on this graph at the moment. So what we do is we are going to format the plot area <coughs> and we're going to look for our series 2. All right. You can't currently see it so we're going to say select data from the graph Go to series two, this is the date that we just added over here, and we're going to edit that. So now the reason you can't see it is because it's got all these weird dates on the side here, and that's a result of Excel not liking our workaround, but let's just carry on regardless. So we need to make this y-axis our x-axis, and that is so that we can graphically represent this data, this data, along the same level as this data. So if we cut that, we'll just cut that and we'll store it in memory. Over here we'll make this 1 and we'll paste that value that we just copied over here. And then you say OK. And now you can see your, your date dot over here. How we test if this is actually working is we can go over here and we can say today plus, let's say, two days, for instance, and we can see our dot move. Now, we actually have a 
dynamic date line in our graph. But now it still doesn't look like a line, it's kind of like a dot. So what we are going to do is another workaround, which is very interesting. We're going to select our dot, and we're going to say design, and we're going to add a chart element. And we are going to add an error bar. Now an error bar is just a, it's a function in Excel that shows you the standard deviation of errors across your graph. However, we will be using it for a different function, and that is to represent our date line, our date dot as a date line. All right, so we can alter this a little bit. Once you've once you've selected error bars, the format error bars uh, box will open up over here, and we've got our different options we can do over here. So we want to format the X bar, for instance, and we actually want that to be zero. Ooh, we don't want that to be zero. We want Apologies. We want the y. We want to edit the y-axis, and we'll just play around with it until we get it the way we would like it to be. So now it's shifted further up in the graph, and it looks a little bit more presentable. Uh, however, to improve it further, we'll make it a solid line. We can make it red, so it's more visual. Um, make it a bit thicker and change the dots. So now when you open your graph you'll be able to see your data and you'll be able to see your date line shift across the graph. And yeah, so that's pretty much that. Let's just play around with this a bit more. It's pretty cool. And yeah, that's how you add a line to a date line to your graph. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.